Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have seen a couple of problems on the VI characteristic of capacitors. I have already told you such problems are very important especially for interviews in organizations like BRC, ISRO uh, etc. Because these uh, actually give an idea whether you know about the characteristic of a particular device that is what will be the voltage if I give this particular current or what will be the response if I give this particular waveform. Therefore, it is easier to ask these questions because these come easily and uh, it is very easy to test your uh, general idea about the particular uh, element. All right. So in this uh, lecture, we will be going through the inductors and a problem on the VI characteristic of inductors. So what I have given here is that <coughs> a current waveform which I have shown like this. All right. So this value is equal to 1. Okay. This is in amperes and then this be in seconds and this is in Henry. Alright. Now, what we are asked is that what will be the graph of the VL of T with the given polarities. Alright. The polarities satisfy the positive sign convention. So, there is no issue here. Alright. Now, you know that we have learned from the previous lecture sessions that VL is equal to L DIL by DT and I of T is equal to 1 by L integral VL DT. But in this problem, what we will be using is VL is equal to L DI by DT because that is the unknown. Now, as we have done in the previous problems, we can identify which all area we have to consider. All right. So one area is from minus infinity to minus one. So minus infinity less than t less than minus one. The value of i of t is equal to zero. That means there are no initial conditions. That means v l of t will also be equal to zero. Okay. Now this was the first case, and let us take the second one. The second one is from minus one less than t less than zero. That is this point from here to here. All right. So there you are having a ramp equation. Therefore, I am let me just put the equation. I have told you a trick which I use. So I will use the same trick here also. So basically, the slope here is 1. All right. So the I of t will be equal to 1 into t plus c. Okay. But this is 1 into t will be this graph. But this is shifted, right? So let me just put <coughs> at t is equal to 0 what is the value of i of t so at t equal to 0 i of t is equal to 1 right that means 1 is equal to 0 plus c or c is equal to plus 1 okay therefore the complete equation of i of t will be equal to t plus 1 okay so you have just done a left shift to the ramp waveform so i of t is equal to t plus 1 in that area okay therefore what will be vl vl is equal to l di by dt so it is the l value is given to be 3 henry 3 into d by dt of t plus 1 okay so this will be equal to 3 into 1 so this is 3 okay so you start by 0 okay got erased one second yeah so you start from minus 0 here so this is 0 and from minus 1 to 0 you are getting the value to be equal to 3 volts okay so this is the value so let me put let me just put it above here okay yeah so let this be 3 volts so from minus 1 to 0 it is like this okay now so let me just put it also here like yeah now let us take the third case now third case the time interval is from 0 to 2 okay from 0 to 2 the value is 1 so 0 less than t less than 2 i of t is equal to 1 okay 1 amperes that means vl is equal to l di by dt equal to uh, this is equal to 3 into d by dt of 1 d by dt of 1 is 0 therefore this will be 0 volts so from <coughs> 0 to 2 you again have 0 okay again it is 0 so let me just put it completely here like this yeah so that you don't get confused okay now the next interval is from uh, 2 to 3 right so 2 less than t less than 3 okay let us find what is the value of i of t there so this is my rough page here yeah so let me just see what is the slope the slope is actually uh, 0 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 2 right 
y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So the slope will be negative 1. So i of t equal to minus t plus c here. Okay. Now let me put some value of uh, c and let me just find it. So at t equal to 3, at t equal to 3, i equal to 0, right? Uh, from this graph, i equal to 0. Okay, that means 0 equal to minus 3 plus c. Okay, so c is equal to plus 3. No, no, it's not, uh, yeah, c is equal to plus 3. Therefore, the equation of i of t will be equal to minus t plus 3. Okay, so i of t is equal to minus t plus 3 here. So, v is equal to L d i by d t. So, in this case, it will be 3 into minus t plus 3 derivative. So, it is equal to minus 3. So, from 2 to 3, your value will be minus 3. Okay. So, this is the graph that you get here. Okay. So, the current equation is like this. So, the voltage equation will be something like this. Now, let us just analyze this problem little bit more so that I can explain one of the concepts that we have studied about inductors. All right. Now, friends, uh, in the previous question, we have done this particular area here. All right. From this, this was the question that we have done. I have put two more cases here and let us just try to find what we will get. So basically, the graph will have almost the same shape, right? It has the same. But what I have done here is that I have changed the slope of this thing. Okay. I have changed the slope. So what you will be getting here is that. So <coughs> v will be equal to okay so what was the previous equation let us just see the previous equation was 3 into uh, t plus 1 right so in this case the slope will be 10 divided by 0.1 uh, sorry 1 divided by 0.1 therefore the slope will be 10 times so vl will be equal to 3 into d by dt of 10 t plus <coughs> 0.1 okay 10 t plus 0.1 this will be the equation okay so if you calculate the value, so VL will be equal to this, you will get 30 volts. Okay. In this case, it was 3 volts, right? Let me just reduce this thing. I hope I didn't make a mistake in the previous. Yeah, it's a 3 volts, right? Yeah, 3 volts. So in this case, it will be 3 volts. And this was minus 3. Now, in this case, you can clearly see at 0 0.1, you are getting 30 volts, right? So, it is 10 times higher. So, this is 30 volts here and then it comes here. And this is 2.1 and here you will get minus 30. So, this is minus 30. Now, what about this graph? This graph, I have put a sudden jump here. Okay. Now, sudden jump in the sense, what will be the value? I have put an instantaneous changes in the current, all right? So, VL is equal to L di by dt and I have changed the delta i. I have made a change in current at delta t almost zero. That means VL will tend to infinity. So, how the graph will look like? You will have zero till here. That is okay. But this will go to infinity, to infinity. So, this will be the voltage graph. This will be the voltage graph. And again, it will be 0 and at 2, it will go to minus infinity. Okay, this minus sign actually is against our passive sign convention. That's it. Your passive sign convention, so the minus indicates it is opposite to the passive sign convention. And again, if it is continuing, it will be 0. So, you can clearly see what I have done here is that I have showed you graphically that any instantaneous change in current will result in infinite voltage, which is not possible. That is why an inductor cannot instantaneously change its current. Okay. So, I hope you have enjoyed this session and in the next session, <coughs> we will be starting with uh, source free RC circuits and uh, actually we will be beginning with transient analysis. All right. Uh, so, I hope you have enjoyed this session. Please like, share and subscribe this video and I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you.